So, learn about WordPress by Fabi Castro and presented by Branding Definition. So, let me explain what. So, you're asking, what is WordPress? WordPress is an open source blog tool and publishing platform powered by PHP and MySQL. Hmm, I hear you asking. <laughs> oh, let me explain. So, let me uh, back up a little bit here. This is a WordPress website. Let me show you what one looks like. This is my small business mobile ideas site. As you can see this text on there, images. We have a side panel where I put my contact form. Let me show you another one. This actually is the branding definition website. Uh, you can add videos to it. I've got my Facebook uh, like and connect button. I've got some coupons on there. So. What makes a WordPress blog different from a regular website? I hear you asking. Okay, the difference is the RSS feed, the comments, the post. That's what makes it different. A regular website, a HTML website, Flash website, so it's just a page. They are pages consisting of maybe anything from five, five pages to 20, 30, 100 pages. They are pages that you put content on. A WordPress, Word, WordPress blog are all little comments that you send out onto the internet. Let me explain it a little bit further. Okay, if you think of a WordPress blog as being like a tree, the roots will be all the posts that you send out into the internet, out onto Google, Yahoo, all out there for people to read on your RSS feed. People subscribe to these. They want to read what you're posting about. Similar to the Twitter, similar to Facebook. People will come to your site to read what you've written about lately. What's the news? What's happening? What's going on? What are you going to tell us next? Think of them. So those are the roots. So the more posts you have out there, the stronger your foundation, the stronger your main website is going to be. Google's going to take notes. The more posts you have out there, Google realizes, hmm, they're working very hard on this site. Let me take a look. Let me start ranking it a little bit higher because they're putting time and effort into the site. Then the leaves are what I call the backlinks because people have seen your posts. They've come to your site to see what else you're writing about. They like your site a lot, so now they are backlinking. They are linking through RSS feeds and also putting your website domain name onto their website. Okay, here we are at my website, brandingdefinition.com. So you have two ways of logging into your website, to your WordPress blog. You have the option at the front. Um, many times I say if you, you know, keep posting blogs, uh, you will recognize that, so it will give you the option on the front, so I could quite easily just say I wanted to add a new post, and uh, I'll, I'll show you. When you first actually set up your blog, the way to access it is, is you'll type in your domain name, and then you type in WP- and then admin, and that gets you into your uh, login area, and uh, this actually is going to go straight into my dashboard, but normally you have a little box here and you'll type in your username and then your password. So here I am at my dashboard. Uh, you can see I actually have made uh, 33 posts and I've got 13 pages set up and I've got my nine categories. So uh, the way to make actually a new post is you come down here to the left side and just say add new on that. And then that will actually open up a, oops, area and then what you do here you type in a keyword recommended post uh, let me just show you one that actually that I've already sent out uh, just recently uh, this went out earlier today let me open that back up I'm gonna edit it so here we have right here um, so you, I suggest you put in some you know when you come to the internet you're searching for something put in exactly type in here what you would normally type yourself. Um, so I've put in how to effectively brand your small business. I mean that's what somebody would type in when they come to the search engine. So just to make sure it's keyword searched here, put your content of your post right in the body. Right in here. You can just copy and paste it. Look I always let me show you here. I already have it set out here so I just copied my title 
this is my content and then I just copied and pasted it right into my post right here now uh, if you don't already have any WordPress blog I do recommend putting the plugin all in one SEO pack here it is right here it's actually down in my list of uh, plugins it's called the all in one SEO pack it's very useful and that's what's helped you with the keyword search term so you put in your keyword search title your content click on the category what you're gonna put your uh, what's it gonna go out under and then make sure you always fill in the all-in-one SEO pack once again copy your title out place it there and then what I normally do I usually just grab some information out of the post itself just grab maybe about 160 characters or more um, just copy just highlight it and you can just highlight it so you just highlight the words you can copy it and then you can paste it right into the post itself as you say they're about 106 characters this one's got like 275 but that's your description that's how Google's gonna recognize where to put your post and then make sure you always fill in the keywords so the keywords some of the words that you've actually got in your post itself like branding small business uh, you know global business some of these keywords need to be also included in your keyword section right here alrighty and then next thing all you need to do is just you can check it first before you, you send it out you can preview you know preview your post first so you can click and see how it looks see how the format is everything else like that uh, my computer's running slow I normally change the size of my font just check I usually like to go under heading 3 uh, that I find is a good size font for me uh, people can read it it looks nice and clear so here is the post itself there it is I can preview before I post I like the size of that people can read my words and everything looks good and then I you just let's just say I've already posted this one but uh, you can click here to just post your um, blog post and then uh, to where it goes, it goes in your list of the RNS feed. So you can come to your RSS feed. This is what uh, people will subscribe to you. If they, people like what you're writing about, they will subscribe, as you, you probably already have yourself, to the RSS feed. Subscribe now. You see, you can click on that. And that lists uh, all my posts that I've made so far from this uh, blog uh, WordPress site that's been around uh, just for a couple of months that's all I think I started uh, back in May I think was the first one so it's only been around a couple of months if that uh, this site alrighty the um, more powerful the uh, all-in-one SEO pack is okay here again we are at my website and uh, I'm gonna click on my RSS feed here's my RSS feed and I'm gonna scroll down here I uh, just say branding definition and uh, let me come to this one uh, on Wednesday which was what yesterday as you can see around here my date uh, today is the 9th of June uh, on the 8th Wednesday the 8th of June I posted understanding the objective of branding so uh, let's go to Google here on Google uh, I literally copied and pasted my header I'm not logged in to Google. Uh, if you log in sometimes, because if you're searching for certain things, it will bring up what it thinks you're searching for, what's related to you. So sometimes if you want to test how powerful your blog posts are, is you know don't be logged in. Log be logged out of uh, the internet. You know uh, that way it will bring up some more um, non-regular uh, search things. So don't. Uh, unlock yourself so I copied and pasted understanding the objective of branding you can see uh, for those watching today it is today the uh, 9th and uh, there's uh, oh we've got over about 8,290,000 results for who typed in for understanding the objective of branding and uh, look what we have right here this is actually is the first page of Google when you type in let me scroll down so you can see the bottom of the page right here the first page. This is the very first page. Right here is understand the objective of branding. 
right here is my website. I'm going to click on it so you can actually see. It's just my computer's running a little slow. As soon as I click on it, it brings you to my the actual blog post itself on my website. All right, so just wanted to demonstrate how powerful. So make sure you download that plugin all in one SEL. That wraps up this video on uh, WordPress. If you're ready to get started with uh, your own WordPress blog, go visit www.learnaboutwordpress.com and you'll see the uh, 24 training videos. It goes from uh, the very beginning of WordPress all the way through to blogging, uh, putting in images, uh, really in-depth uh, training on uh, WordPress. Uh, that's how actually I got started with WordPress was literally by uh, accessing those videos and uh, they offer sale on my site at learnaboutwordpress.com which is $17 and uh, they will definitely get you started on your way blogging. Okay once again this is Baby Castro and uh, if you have any questions then you can reach me at inquiry at askfay.com so uh, looking forward to helping you and uh, happy blogging! <laughs>